What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Today, we're going to learn English with Ricky Gervais. Shout out to D-Mac for the suggestion. Appreciate you, homie. Uh, let's jump right to it. Remember, snacks not included. <coughs> Shoot, excuse me. Hello, and welcome to Learn English with Ricky Gervais. Hello? I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Carl Pilkington. What? Uh, I won't be speaking your language. I won't be translating what I say. I'll just be speaking English, OK? The translation will come up on the bottom of the screen. Will it? This is my friend, Carl Pilkington. He is bold. He is bold. He has no hair. Carl Pilkington has no hair. Yeah, I know. They can see I've got no hair. No, I know. Well, what, what do they need to know that for? If they learn a, a language, yeah. bold isn't a, bo a bald head isn't isn't that important. Teach him how to ask for bread or milk. We'll get to that, but this is about sort of friendship and family, you know. So it's all useful. There's so many words, you know, they might as well start somewhere. There's too many words. There's a lot of words. A lot of words. <laughs> So you say it. Carl Pilkington is bold. Carl Pilkington is bald. <laughs> Carl Pilkington has got a head like a fucking orange. Right, I, I really don't know why they need to learn this. <laughs> because they might need to say that one day. No, but okay. I get enough abuse now from English people. I don't want Chinese suddenly turning up going, bald fucking orange. <laughs> Teach them how to say milk. I need milk. Milk for tea. Coffee. Teach me useful stuff. OK, well, do, well, 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 go and teach them something then. Who am I talking to? People around the world, they can't speak English yet. Yeah, me? Just kidding. So what are they... Well, so, Chinese, Chinese well, doesn't are the ones do, that, OK, what? I've been to China and none of them know English. Right. So they need to learn English. OK. So, right. um, what would they want to know? You see, they don't need to know about milk because they don't like milk. They think English people smell of milk. They smell of milk. <laughs> what the hell? Is this true? Smell. What does smell mean, Carl? Smell. Smell. Um, stink. Fucking hell. You smell. <laughs> Rank. <laughs> Rank. So you've got a Chinese fella. He's coming over here and he's learned the word rank meaning you stink smell stank stunk <laughs> that stunk <laughs> give an example um <laughs> you smell you shit <laughs> <laughs> Why are you teaching them? Yeah. because you told me you said they want to know about smell yeah right but why are you teaching them without prepositions and proper grammar? Why are you teaching them to speak like this? Mmm, stink, you shit. Why are you teaching them to speak, uh, to just speak proper English? Right, OK, then. Um... Always speak proper English. OK, tell them. Um, so what, what do they want to know? Well, what's, what smell mean? This is, okay, smell. This is about... So we're featuring okay, the word okay, right, smell. Right. Smell. This is about the word smell. Right, when something smells, they know what it means. It's when something um, stinks. When well, it, no, it doesn't always mean that, because it, it's also a verb. Oh, a nice smell. It's also a verb to smell. It's a verb. Smell is a verb. Yes, but what they've got to remember is if they go up to someone and go, you smell, it's not always positive. You, <laughs> wouldn't, you, you, you say you smell nice. Right. But if you say you smell, they'll get a smack in the face. Smack in the face? Smack in the face. Carl, 
What's a smack in the face? When someone thumps you. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> the worst English lesson ever. Right, OK. Um, do you... <laughs> Here's one. You smell like shit! That happened in eighth grade. Some girl told we had some smelly kids in class. She told the kid that he smelled like shit, mad loud. Oh my God, it was so embarrassing for the kid. <laughs> okay. What would they want to let you see? That's why we've got to focus on, are we focusing on Chinese? No. Well, Just... we should because different people want different things. Right. So what would Chinese want? They come to England. Right. What do they want? Why are you talking to me like I can't understand? Because English I'm now. trying to think how what to be clear to them. Okay. So I'm okay. dropping out. So forget where they come from, wherever they come from in the world, they all want the same things. No, okay? but but words don't mean the same thing. At certain places, there's people where it stinks in the world. They wouldn't come to England and need to say it smells because they're from a smellier place. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> Jesus, man. Milk. Let's do milk. OK, let's do milk for anyone who isn't English. OK, OK, I'll, I'll, um... OK. We will act out a scenario now where you might need milk. OK. OK. Hello, Carl. Hello. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, strong. What tea bags have you got? <laughs> that is a that is a that is a question I ask because it all depends on the amount of milk. Do you have Thai foo? That means more milk. Thai foo does not mean more milk. No, it's a very strong tea bag. Right. Twinings, little bit. This of isn't. They don't need to know the details. This isn't a travel guide. This is just. This is English for people right, who start can't again, speak. Right. Start again. Okay. Then. Hello, Carl. Oh, yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one. I'm gasping. How do you like it? Strong, no sugar. Tea bag, OK? What? <laughs> Trick question. Yeah, tea bag, yeah. <laughs> well, that should be all right. OK. Would you like some milk? Just a drop. A drop, not much. Would you like semi-skimmed milk? Yeah. Skim semi-skimmed milk. Whoa. Good? It's all right, that. It's good acting, guys. Carl is enjoying his tea. He had it strong with a drop of milk. So... That's the basics. Uh, uh, in England, we like to drink tea. We drink tea. We also drink coffee. We also drink beer. Yeah. Let's go shopping. So, uh, I'll, I'll just come into a shop, OK? Drink. Afternoon. Hello. Hiya. I want a fish. What sort of fish do you want? We've got loads. What sort of fish are there? Loads. I haven't got time, to be honest. You've come in at a busy time. Have a look and come back to me. And I don't know what... What type of fish is this? That's a, a kipper. OK. A kipper. What's a kipper? <laughs> Chinese and Japanese know fish really well. They okay. don't need, need Stop to... Stop thinking we're just talking to Chinese and Japanese. I don't know where the Japanese came from. It's, it's just Chinese people. This is for anyone who wants to learn English. Anywhere around the world. They might be Spanish. They might be French. They might be German. OK? Why do you only care about the Chinese learning about this? Because most Spanish people can speak English. They've been taught it. But right. all right, kipper. Okay. It's a fish. It's sort of um, a fishy sort of fish. There's some fish that's more meaty. Tuna. What sort of thing are you after today? Is this for you or for someone else? This is for me. I'd like to buy a fish, please. Right, but, you've, but surely you know what kipper is. Look at it. Look at the fish. Here it's called kipper. Where are you from? I don't speak English. Don't speak English. I'd just wrap any old shit up and give it... <laughs> <laughs> you like this. Tenor. Rip you off. 
Yeah, I'm not going to Carl Pilkington's fish shop. My man's is the same guy who steals Mars bars in grocery stores at a young age, man. I don't trust this man no more. Because I'm busy, and that's what happens in this country. That's what they want to be careful of if they're watching this. If you come into England, don't be ripped off, rip off, conned, taken advantage of. Um, done up like a kipper. Done up like a kipper. Look at this foreigner. I done him up like a kipper. This is when English gets complicated because kipper, a lot of English words can mean many things. Um, kip, nap, have a kip. Where? Where? Same word, different thing. Wearing. Where have you been? I'm wearing a jumper. Where have you been? Where? Brilliant. One word, two meanings. At the spa. Hello. I'd like to book an appointment for a treatment. OK. When are you, um, when are you thinking? Um, We're busy all today. Tomorrow? Can we just do it today? Can it just be available now? Can't we just do it that it's available now? There's nothing... It's, well, all it's... right, I can fit you in. Someone hasn't turned up yet, so we can get you in sort of in ten minutes. OK. Right. OK. <clears throat> what would you like? Um, I would like a back crack and sack waxing, please. I would like my back waxed, my crack waxed, and my mm. sack waxed. Ow. Right. Do you do the treatments yourself? No. I'd like you to. Well, I can't. Why not? Because I have to be on reception, taking calls. <laughs> well, OK. <laughs> You can't request who's doing your sack, your crack, <laughs> or your back. There's a woman in the back who does your crack. Her name is Isa. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> this is fucking insane. Right, that's enough. Wait, no, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know who's going to learn anything wait, from wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. OK. So, OK, wait, OK. OK. Well, ask me some questions. About, okay. Well, I, I don't okay. have to ask you any questions. I said okay. you can be going in ten minutes. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm working. Actually... I'm not paid or qualified to be sorting your wait, ass Wait, wait, OK, wait, <laughs> wait, OK. <laughs> actually, thinking about it, the hair on my crack hasn't grown back, nor has the hair on my back. But my sack is very hairy. Wait, <laughs> my sack is very hairy. Um, I, I don't need my back waxed or my crack waxed, but I need my sack waxed. Right. Now, I'm surprised you haven't done it yourself, because it's the back and the crack that's the difficult bit. The sack you can do yourself. Oh. And to be honest, it should all be growing at the same time. No. So there's something wrong with you. No. You've got a hairy bollock. <laughs> when your, back is, your back is lovely and bald. Right. You don't need it doing... Bald. Bald. Fuck's my, sake. my back is bald. Yeah. My crack is bald. My sack needs waxing. Right. Um, right. It's quite an emergency. My balls are very hairy. Can I have them waxed, please? Yes. How much just for the balls? <laughs> 15 pounds. For 15 two. pounds? For the both. For two. OK, yes. that's good. So 7 50 each. It's 7 50 Yeah, but we don't split it. That's that's the price. Yes, yes. You can't have one done. No, it's I have two. Pounds. I have two balls. I have two balls. How many balls do you have, Carl? Two. <laughs> Carl has two balls. Are your balls hairy? Average. Okay. <laughs> Which is strange because Carl's balls are hairy, but he is bald on his head. His head looks like a ball. His head looks like a bald testicle. Carl has a <laughs> head like a bald testicle, but his testicles aren't bald. He confused everyone. Okay. How long will it take to wax my balls? Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Only okay. ten? Okay. So it's um, £15. Pounds. 
and ten minutes. Um, can you do it? Can you can you do it now, please? No, I won't be doing it. You'll Why? be meeting Leslie in the back room. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't really. I'm a little bit shy. I know you. Could you? You don't know me. You've just turned up. Could you wax my balls? No, I'm not waxing your balls. Bollocks. Uh, scrotum. <laughs> um, what else is the test eye? <laughs> if you're having one done. Jesus, I'm learning, guys. Bollocks. Sack. <laughs> uh, oh. What else is it? Oh. Okay, okay, right, we've done, done that waxing. Okay. At the doctor's. Hello, doctor. Hello. I have a pain. Okay, what's where, whereabouts is the pain? My anus. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ricky loves effing with him, man. Oh, man. Ricky loves messing with him. Hold up. Oh, man. None of this is worth using learning in a language. You go home. If you're ill, go home. No, if, if, if a foreign fella is in this country... He can and then... go to the doctors and use our, our, our NHS system if he had an achy arse. He'd get on the first flight home. Why aren't you going travelling? You're here as a tourist. Yes. yes. Right, we'll see London. Instead of worrying about your airy bollocks, see the London Eye. The London Eye. <laughs> Tower of London. These are things that are going to be useful to them. OK. Tower of London. London Eye. Buckingham Palace. The Queen. I've never been on holiday and had to have my anus seen to. I haven't had to have it seen to whilst I'm here, at home. Give him useful words. Fromage. Why are you teaching them a French word if we're teaching them English? <laughs> I'm just saying useful phrases. Right. Uh, I've got a headache. Um, okay. What would you do? Okay. What scenario would you do to teach them? Who Carl are you? will now teach you a useful scenario. Yeah, who are you? Any anyone you want me to be. What do you want to do? The bins haven't been emptied. Who, uh, uh, okay. Who are you? You're making this scenario up. This so, is your... So who are you then, the council? It's up to you. Right, you're my neighbour. Okay. Yeah? Why do you keep putting bins out? The bin men doesn't come till Thursday. You keep putting bins I'm out. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm very sorry. I've had a bit of trouble. I woke up this morning and it's the worst it's ever been. I have got this standard. I've got a prolapse rectum and I've distended my testicles are very, very low because I'm old. I'm lactating. Yeah, the, all right. Listen, can you just put the bins out on the Thursday? I can't put the... Put my, your my balls yeah. are so low because I'm an old man. But can you put the bins out on a third? The bin men doesn't come till a Thursday, it's Tuesday. You're putting bins out too early, there's foxes getting at them, there's shit all over the place. There's dirty underpants you keep putting in the bin. I've told you, it attracts foxes. Stop putting the fucking bins out <laughs> two, two fucking days early when they've got to sit there and it attracts shit. I'm trying to sell me flat. These dirty, shitty undies all over the fucking pavement. This has happened to you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, it has. What did you they do? They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. <laughs> I knew this is a real life scenario. You can just see the way he's getting flustered and pissed off, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't want to be his neighbor, man. Ah, oh, man, that's the end? That was way too good, hold on. We hope that's been useful for you. So when you visit England, you can talk just like an Englishman. Okay, I'm ready. Thank you for learning English with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington. So, yeah. See ya. Yeah. All right, all right. So, guys, we learned a lot today, boys and girls. I was not prepared. You were not prepared for this. Um, yeah, you can tell when Carl's getting a little bit pissed off and shit. I say it a thousand times, still never uh, not going to say Ricky Gervais is one of the best labs on the freaking planet. Um, but, you know, besides all that, uh, yeah, we feel like we learned some stuff, you know, so, hey, you know, you want to get your, your back, your crack, and your, you know, your your balls waxed, man. And you just see, uh, you know, Carl, like, 
no, I'm not going to do it, man. You got you got Leslie, you know, from Benny Dorm there. Uh, Mateo. <laughs> I start thinking about the stupidest shit, man. But you know what? I think that if I didn't speak a lick of English or, you know, not a drop, uh, this would be extremely useful. But this whole scenario, see, their dynamic is fucking hilarious, guys. Uh, you know, Ricky and Carl always provide good laughs. You know, a nice little duo there. Uh, everything about this shit was freaking hilarious. Uh, the fish thing. Uh, I don't want to go in any shop run by Carl. If Carl was running any sort of shop, man, we're going to get, he's going to hustle. Uh, he is going to scam and screw people off already. Cause he's just like, yeah, if I don't know, no fish, man, he was like, yeah, but Japanese and Chinese, no fish. They do fishing and shit. Like he, he, he would never see, he doesn't see that. Sometimes you don't see the bigger picture. Uh, you know, it, it, all around the world, you know, as, as straightforward as it is. And, you know, there's so many people that don't speak, uh, you know, English and stuff. Uh, you know, when my grandparents migrated uh, over here to the States, man, they didn't know no English, man. You know, not a drop of English. I had to speak full Spanish uh, for years and years and years, you know. So not everybody, not every Spanish person speaks well uh, on English, but... Um, you know, that's, that's for damn sure. I still got some that never really know any other word besides hello. That's pretty much it. So, um, this definitely would be beneficial for like, uh, you know, my grandparents back in the day. Uh, but to me, more or less, you know, this thing is just absolutely freaking hilarious. Uh, yeah, we're going to England, boys and girls. We have just learned a lot with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington. This was freaking the best 20 minutes of my life. Um, Man, that was so damn good. Uh, I wish there was more, um, but Max said there was only one episode, so I don't know what happened with that. Did they just not want to proceed uh, with this anymore, or this was just kind of a one-and-done tester? But either way, man, I uh, you know, if there was more episodes, if there really is more episodes... Uh, or anything like that, uh, with learning more English, I would love to see it, uh, because this shit was hilarious, so, uh, provided joy, number one, man, um, that's the easiest thing to say, but man, I had a good time, man, such crazy scenarios, fishing, uh, getting waxed in places, <laughs> you know, uh, bald, you have a bald, F, you know, freaking head, uh, call for as soon as he said that, why do we gotta learn that, why do you gotta teach them that, man, stop it, uh, you know, Carl just cracks me up, and, and that neighbor's story with the bins was absolutely hilarious, so, I enjoy this, thanks, Mac, for the suggestion, we'll get some more content on the channel as soon as we can, see you soon, peace and love. If there's something you want on the channel, please suggest it in the comments down below. See you next time. Peace and love.